So here we are, where the whispers of time linger in the mountain breeze, born from the earth's fiery womb. A mythical titan crowned in ash, surrounded by the black rock of molten paths through history. This is Mount Etna. sentinel with a tail etched in the volcanic tapestry of existence. Okay, so that was written by ChatGPT, and as you can see, the AI narration is nothing like me, okay? So here we are back with season two of Mike Loves Sicily on the East Coast, and we're starting in one of the most beautiful places in Sicily. But before we begin, I want to explain why it's taken so long to get to season two. The truth is we filmed this series and started putting it together and tried to sell it to networks all around the US. But sadly, in the current climate of travel shows, we live in a world where Stanley Tucci's show about Italy got canceled, which doesn't leave a great chance for us. But we put a ton of energy into this project. It's very dear to me. It means a lot. And as you know, since you're watching it here, we've decided to put it out on YouTube, which is great because everyone can watch it now easily and for free, but it's taken a little longer. So that's the status here on Mike Love Sicily. Rolling, speak, clack with the stones. Thank you. <laughs> so here we are at Mount Etna. We are a thousand meters in the air here. And yeah. we're still about 2000 meters below the top of Mount Etna. Mother, Mama, Mama Etna, Etna. Yeah. is what she's called here in Sicily because she is the mother of Sicily. It is her volcanic, nutrient-rich lava, rock, black stone and soil. And also red stone. Also some red that has caused the fertile grounds of Sicily to produce such a wealth of delicious foods yeah. and wine. And it's all because of this... This volcano here, which is the biggest volcano in Europe. in Europe. And we stay here in the place where 300 years ago, maybe, a lava created this land, you know, from, from, the, from the top of here and move in this part. It's interesting because, you know, give to also to the food a lot of flavor. Mount Etna, also known as Mangiabello, has a rich and turbulent history that stretches back thousands of years. Standing at over 3,300 meters tall, with over 200 recorded eruptions since 1500 BC. Each year, Etna attracts countless visitors from around the world, drawn to its dramatic landscapes and unique experiences. Now, tourists usually have the opportunity to explore the volcano's craters and hike along its trails, but at this exact moment in time, those experiences were closed. So we spent our time a couple thousand meters below, looking up in awe and trying to understand what we were standing on. So back here behind us, it looks like dirt. You know what I mean? It looks like yeah. just soil. Yeah. But this is hard, sharp, volcanic rock. Exactly. And it, there's a path of rock that comes down from the top of the, the volcano here. It's just, you can see all the darkness there. It comes down and cascades all the way down, all the way down the mountain, yeah, the mountain into the valleys there. below. And uh, it's really quite a magnificent view, and it's very moving to be standing here. This volcano has been both feared and revered by the people of Sicily, who have witnessed its eruption shape and transform the surrounding landscapes. But Etna is more than just a geological wonder. It's a living entity that holds a special place in the hearts of the Sicilian people. Its fertile slopes nurture vineyards, orchards, and olive groves, providing a bountiful harvest and shaping the region's unique cuisine and culture. And now that we're almost five minutes into the episode, we are obligated to show some food and eating. And luckily, on the way up the mountain, we had stopped at a little deli to pick up some sandwiches. Carmelo Canavo Svizzi di Sicilia is a family-run butcher shop in the little town of Linguaglosa, where they specialize in meat. See, in Sicily, when you go 20 kilometers away from the sea, 
you suddenly consume more pigs and cows. This award-winning macheleria serves up delicious cuts of all kinds of meat. And they're a small and proud group of young butchers that were kind and generous and served us some delicious sausage panini for lunch. And after wolfing down some mouth-watering sausicha, we suddenly were filled with energy. gave our thanks and praise to Mama. Mama! Mama! Mount Etna, a truly remarkable place, not only in Sicily, but in the world. A one-of-a-kind place that everyone must visit. Let's backtrack to Lingua Glossa. Nestled on the northeastern slope of Mount Etna, Lingua Glossa finds itself immersed in the renowned Etna wine region, a land blessed with vineyards that produce some of the world's most exceptional wines. This also happens to be the town where we found an affordable Airbnb, which was a beautiful villa on the side of the mountain. And just down the road from where we were staying was an agriturismo. An agriturismo, simply put, combines agriculture and tourism. And usually it's a place where you can stay, and eat at a farm where the food you get is grown right there on the land. Just below Etna is Torre del Gheppio, started by Santo Presandrea 20 years ago when he decided to leave the city life and purchase this old barrio that dates all the way back to 1838. Today the structure has a 70 seat restaurant and six accommodations for rural tourism. Santo lives there with his family and displays art and relics from his family's history. And after showing us around, we immediately got into the famous Etna wine. This is an Etna bianco, an Etna doc bianco, that we will use as an aperitivo for the serata. And it's a wine that is composed by three of Bacca Bianca, Cataratto, Minnella and Caricante. Prodotto in una contrada che si chiama Contrada Martinella, quindi prende nome da questa antica contrada, ed è prodotto da una piccola cantina di lingua glossa, la cantina Aitala. The Etna region has become a major destination for wine lovers around the globe. And we started with a Bianco, featuring both of the most typical white varieties in the region, Caracante and Cataratto. Cataratto, Caricante e Minnella. It's a mix of bacca bianca. It's a white mix, okay. Ooh, very nice. Ready? The white wine here showcases bright acidity, citrusy flavors, and a pronounced minerality, which comes from the mineral-rich volcanic soil. But according to Santo, these wines aren't for everybody. You have two choices. Or you love, or you hate this type of Really? The piacere or non piacere. Because it's a strong wine. It's good, it's going down quick for me. Ah, si, sì, va molto veloce, lo finisce molto velocemente. Ah, si, sì, guarda. We have another, we have a bottle. Now, Santo actually doesn't grow vegetables on this land. He has animals here. But he has made some special bartering arrangements with his neighbors. Yeah. He invented this idea with the shit of the donkey. He, donkey shit. Yeah, give to a producer. You feed the donkey the vegetables, he shits them back out. You feed the plants, the plants make the food. E chi è l'operatore più importante qua dentro? L'asino. Who is the, the, the most important things here? The duck. L'asino. So with that appetizing new information, it only made sense to head to the kitchen, where La Cuoca de Casa, Cettina Perecelli, was getting things started by sauteing some bietola. I haven't seen a lot of greens like this. I, I, see, I love greens. Me too. It's very healthy. Toss in some spicy pepperoncino, some chunks of bread. Sorry, I'm on a low carb diet. And of course, Santo's famous sausicha. This simple, healthy contorno is right up my alley, and I really couldn't wait to taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pepperoncino giapponino. Red hot chili pepper and wine. Anthony Kiedis, in the mouth. 
in Sicilia perlomeno con pochissimo cucina piatti stupendi stupendi ma con poco esatto She's right, it's all about the little things in Sicily. The small places, the simple food, all beautiful little stories. Macaroni alla norma. Norma pasta. Mia. Macaroni al suino nero dei negroni. Whoa, baby. Look at those thick noodles. Okay, I can't lie here. We waited quite a long time to finally eat. And as you can see on the right there, there's three empty bottles of wine, which definitely uh, contributed to the turn in conversation. You know, science and technology, what I, what I want is regenerative, you know, regenerative pigs. But where you can cut little chunks of them off and then it grows back slowly and they yeah, still enjoy their life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The secondi was appropriately the pork sausage. Look at that. Cooked to perfection. And of course, we gave our gratitude to Chef Chattina. This is a perfect woman right here, okay? <laughs> That's what we call it. Buonissimo. Buonissimo. Yeah. Delizioso. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Have a good night. Ciao. Arrivederci, grazie. And like every agriturismo I've ever been to in Sicily, you finish the meal with the owner's homemade one-of-a-kind digestivo. This one made from a particular aromatic herb that grows on the mountain called Dona Vita. Dona Vita. Ah, gift to life. Dona Vita. Salute, Santo. And thanks so much for sharing your life and providing us such a chill and fun evening.